God wants us to be unified. Amen. Amen. And he wants us to be one. Mm -hmm. And so to help to aid us, give us a visual aid, what he does is he gives us the picture of the married relationship. Amen. Now God doesn't picture our unity like we picture marriage. All right, man. Amen. But God has his own pattern. Yes, sir. And his own picture yeah. for the perfect marriage. All right. Somebody ought to say perfect pattern. Perfect pattern. He said, be followers of God. Well, amen. And dear children. Yeah. That means that we are to imitate who God is. Yes. Amen. And not only what who God is, but we ought to imitate what God does. Amen. 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 To be imitators means to uh, uh, meditate, meditate, to be uh, doing exactly what God does. Yeah. Right. Now, let me tell you this, that all of us are going to do it exactly. All right, all right. The way God does. Amen. But the one thing you ought to have gotten from this is that God gave us structure. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Somebody ought to say structure. Yeah. Structure. Yeah. And let me see, let me see if, he got, if he gave us structure for our marriage so that our relationships uh, can be sound. Mm -hmm. uh, verse number one to two, he said, follow Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Imitate Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the pattern. Uh, don't imitate your husband. Uh, don't imitate your wife. Yeah. Uh, don't imitate your pastor. Right. But imitate Christ. Right. Yeah. Amen. If you're going to have a perfect pattern for the perfect marriage, you need a perfect pattern. Amen. And yeah. Christ is our perfect pattern. Uh -huh. So I don't say perfect power. Okay. He's our perfect power. And he said, follow Christ as dear children. Amen. And all of us know how we feel about our kids. Amen. And some of us are even overprotective. Yeah. I wish I had somebody like right that. About our kids. Mm -hmm. And so he says, to be followers of God and dear children. Now, if you follow God, that means that there's something that God wants you to do. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's something that God Don't doesn't want us to do. Right? Which means that God structured our lives. Yeah. How many of you are willing to allow God hmm. to give your life structure? Right. Yeah. I mean, the truth of the matter really is, is that we are poor. Yeah. I wish I had somebody right now yeah. from the floor up. Yeah. Really, you don't understand how to be in a man. Really, you don't understand the concept of marriage relationships if you don't have a biblical standard to stand on. All right. I wish I had somebody. And so he tells us, number one, to follow Christ. That's our biblical pattern. Yeah. Our structure is based upon our biblical pattern. Amen, yeah. man. And he tells us in verses number three, to avoid all immorality. I told you, when following God, there's something God allows us to do. Yeah. All right. And then there's something God does not allow us to do. Amen. He said, avoid all immorality. You understand how you were before you met Christ. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, it's impossible for you to be a child of God and be a devil, too. Yeah. Amen, man. Amen. 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 I'll Amen. wait on you like that. Uh -huh. Lord, God doesn't want you to be a child of God and a child of the devil. Yeah. He wants you to be a child of God or a child of the devil. Amen. And I come to tell you, I would much rather yeah. 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 be a child of God yeah. 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 than becoming a child of the devil. Amen. Amen. He said, refrain in verse number uh, four and five, refrain from all obscene language. You understand that conversation you used to have before you met Christ. Uh -huh. You said the one Peter had, uh -huh. after he had been questioned the third time, the tax said, he pushed too many buttons. Yeah. All right. And sometimes people can push, I wish I had too many buttons in your life yeah. and cause you to go back to that life what you used to live before you met Christ and, and be like Peter, you end up cussing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you said we was at the wrong fire. Yeah. Uh -huh. Interrogated him three times. By the third time, Jesus said, the tax said, Peter started cussing. Yeah. 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 Right. I'm not talking about cursing that he was saying something bad. I'm talking about using profanity. Yeah. All right. He was using bad and obscene language. Yeah. Yeah. I done told you the third time, I don't know. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. All right, now, man. Okay, I'm trying to get you there. I'm All right, to get you there. I'm trying to get you there. So you refrain from a 
I'm saying that. He said, and then don't allow other people to deceive you. Yeah. Yeah. Now you have to be careful if you're following Christ, there's a counter Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe, maybe I better put it in turn where you, you get it. If that is a Christ, there's an anti-Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so there are some people who are for Christ, and then there are some who are against. Yes. You know what anti means, though. Yeah. Yeah. Anti means he's not for him. Yeah. Yeah. And so there are some people who are anti-Christ who want to get you off the path of Christ. Right. Yeah. 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 Take all of that to the left. Yeah. Yeah. How do you know who he is? And you don't know it for yourself. Yeah. All right. Who well, you have to be careful how you let people talk to you. Yeah. He said, number, number four, the, number, number four, he said, the walk, number five, the walk in light. Yeah. Verses eight through nine and verses eleven through fourteen. Now listen, what he's talking about here is that if you recall, you used to walk in God. Yeah. All right, amen. Now hear what I said on last week. Uh, I, I got so used to it that I used to, that I knew what darkness was. I, I've been in the dark. I was about 12 o'clock darkness. Yeah. Amen. Amen. One o'clock. Yeah. I'm going down somebody's street here a minute. Two o'clock darkness. Yeah. Three in the morning. Dog. All right, Rick. Like y'all talking about right, four o'clock in the morning. Dog. Five o'clock in the morning, dog. Yes. Early six o'clock in the morning, just so All right, Rick. I'm talking to you. Yeah. All right. So I said, is that a walking in darkness? If you are a follower of Christ, an imitator of him, make sure that you walk yeah. in the light. Amen. So now, since I'm saying, I ain't got no problem with the dog. Amen. Because the same life I live in the light, Amen. I can live in the dog. Amen. Somebody talk to me with me. Amen. Amen. Now listen to this. In number, number five, number six, he said, seek God will and do it. You'll find this in verse number 10 and verse number 17. See, once you discover Christ, one of the things you want to do is find out what God is doing. Uh -huh. Basically what you're saying is, what is God's will? What is God doing? Not only do you want to find out what God is doing, he want to find out how can I do, do it. what God is doing. Yeah. All right. Now somebody said, he said, be followers of Christ. Yeah. Well, how is it possible to imitate Christ? Well, God said it's possible. In other words, when, some, when you used to get drunk, did nobody ever tell you to be that? Amen. Amen, Amen. 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 You did Amen. that. Uh -huh. And if somebody saw you out there drunk, they knew you were drunk. Uh -huh. And matter of fact, when you was in that town of wild, you didn't care. Yeah. Amen, man. If right. they saw you yeah. as a drunk, yeah. because yeah. you said, I'm drunk now. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can tell me that now because that's what I am now. Yeah. But he said, don't be drunk. Right. Yeah. Whenever you see God's will, what you want to do is you want to do what God said. Amen, brother. Are right, you with me so far? Amen. Number 7, verse number 15 and 16 said, you every opportunity for doing good. Amen. For every time you have a chance to help somebody, even if it's a married relationship or if it's in a friend relationship, you want to do everything Amen. you possibly can. Amen, man. To help other people. Amen. Everything can't be about you. Amen, man. Since Amen. you got saved, Jesus didn't die for himself. Amen, Amen. 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 man. Wish I had to. Amen, Amen. man. But he died for the ungodly. Oh, yeah. Can I want to tell you that all of us are yeah. something? Amen. Amen. So he died for all of us who are asking something. Yeah. And you just fill in the black when you get home. Amen. All right. Amen, Amen. Amen. Listen. He said, use every opportunity for good, for doing good. Look at this. Number eight, verse number eight, he says, don't get drunk with wine. Now, I, I know most of us uh, like our little sip. <laughs> you ain't got to say, man. Because <laughs> there are some sips we take that are for medicinal purposes. Uh -huh. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You take a little something, so, you know, because you got to heal this. Uh -huh. Can I really tell you that there's some medications? I, if I'm right, we'll keep one that have alcoholic content. Amen, man. But it's for medical reasons. Amen, man. And it's really designed to help you with whatever you are sick of. Amen. But I really believe that there's some people that are going beyond a dose of medicine. Yeah. Amen. I think some people are actually getting drunk. Yeah. All right. And said, if you're going to get drunk on something, make sure you get drunk while you're at church. Amen, man. Yeah, Amen. you're watching a lot of people go in. Why don't you get drunk while you're there? Yeah. Yeah. I had a problem with that. 
get drunk. He is hurt. I wish I had people that'll get drunk. He is hurt. I wish I had numbers that'll get drunk. I should work it all the time because you got drunk. Yeah. Uh, anybody here ready to get drunk? Amen. He did the worst of sin. Amen. Um, 
Gunday be psychic unto your husband. Now I said, he said, be psychic unto your own husband. The word own actually comes from a Greek word, idios. Idios, which means that which pertains to you. And this is what I told the ladies last week. I said, I don't care what kind of problem you're having at home, he is still yours. Uh -huh. Amen. Hey. I don't know. He 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 taught he taught a wife to be subject to every man, uh -huh. but he told a wife to be subject to a husband. Uh -huh. Now listen, brother. <laughs> I told you, Hooper Castle also came with the idea that the woman's submission is voluntary. Amen. Amen. Man. That means that men don't dominate don't their do women. Don't do it. All right. Don't do it. If you are a female abuser, mm. whether it's verbal or physical, right. you are out of line yeah. with the, pre the presentation of the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You yeah. are out of line with the skill set of structure. Yeah. The Bible now told us to enslave or dominate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm right. like, the Bible says, submit your side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In verse 21. Uh -huh. So that really is a self. Uh, voluntary submission. Right. Are y'all with me here? Amen. So the woman is not to be dominated mm -hmm. by a man. Amen. Man. Her submission comes voluntary. Voluntary. Amen. Because text says, submit to him and unto the Lord. So get this fella, her submission is voluntary. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now there's a difference between submission and subjugation. All right. All right. Amen, man. Say with it again. Uh huh. Subjugate means that you force her. Yeah. Uh huh. Now I know a lot of marriages where the wife dominates the husband. All right, man. Mm. All right, now, man. Amen. Okay, I don't know what somebody that sees somebody with a husband, with a wife. Amen. I see. Dominate the husband. And then there's some marriages where the husband dominates the wife. Yeah. Amen. Amen, now, real. Uh huh. And this don't make me love if I put some bumps all over. If I bruise her all over, if I beat her down. No. Over a period of time, she gonna get to the point where she can't do nothing about her. Listen, let me tell you, you out of line with the will of God. Amen. Now, now, you ought to be put out of church if you beat up on your wife. Amen. 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 It's a submission. Yeah. Submission by the woman in the Bible means that the woman voluntarily submits. She does it because of her affinity for God, not because you dominate her. Okay, right. All right. Am I going to where we just So the husband, the wives, be subject mm -hmm. to your own husband. Amen. As unto the Lord. Y'all got with me here so far? Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, she, she ought to be subjected, mm -hmm. submissive, unto her own husband. Mm -hmm. Her own husband. Amen. Now, there was another scripture in the verse, and, and I'm trying to hurry on because I want to try to get out of here as quickly as I can. But I want to share one, share one scripture with you, and I thought it was very pertinent, from 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 14. Why does God want this to be a part of the subject's response? First Corinthians chapter 7, 7, 7, 7 14 says, the unbelieving husband sanctify the wife. And the unbelieving wife sanctified, uh, uh, is sanctified by the husband. Mm -hmm. Else were your children unclean. Get this. Mm. If a man who marries a woman, if he's saved and she's not, God is going to sanctify her because he is saved. Amen. Amen, Amen man. No word. That they're, they're honoring God's will simply by getting married. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now I got issue with people that talk about children born out of wedlock. Amen. Of course, that is a problem there because this is part of what this text talks about. It calls the children unclean. Please. Now where the problem get cleared up is right here. Maybe the man you're married to is not the baby daddy. All right. But at least you did what God said. Yeah. I'm talking to good names. Amen. Now. Because what you've done, you come under the will of God, under the umbrella of God. Yeah. You have married. Now God can sanctify you and your children. Oh, yeah. Because you respect the 
spin his wheel yeah. by getting married. Yeah. Amen, man. As opposed to shacking up. Yeah. And I got, I'll tell you the truth though, folks. But she didn't, she didn't need to marry him. Listen, would you rather her be shacking up with him? Or him with her? Or would you rather they do what God says and get married? And then the whole house gets sanctified. Amen, Amen man. Amen. God wants to cover the whole house. Yeah. That the husband, the wife, and the children, but it's based on somebody in there who's already in a relationship. Amen. Amen, man. Amen. With God. Amen. So for all of you ladies that have had the accident, that you call the accident, really wasn't the accident. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I don't believe no children coming here by accident. Amen, Amen. Amen. I Amen. think they're coming because two people did something that caused them. Amen, Amen. 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 Huh. Don't talk slippers. Mm. Amen. They do that in models. Yeah. And only children do it. Mm. Amen. Mm. All right, now listen. Verse one. Verse one. He said, be subject unto your own husband. Huh? Amen. Subject unto your own husband. What's it? Now, he said in verse number 23. What's it? And this is interesting. For the husband is his. Amen. Amen. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Now my mother going to tell you. Thank you. That it's a rarity mm -hmm. that uh, Siamese twins are born. Amen. Amen. Or conjoined twins. Amen. Uh -huh. That's rare. Amen. Because if you look around the room, everybody's born individual. Amen. Amen. Even if you're born as twins, you don't come out joined together. Amen. Amen. You come out individually. Mm -hmm. If you come, if you're born as triplets, you still come out. Amen. If you if you're born as quintuplets, yeah. when you come out, you don't come out as looking like an octopus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But you come out individually. Amen. Y'all with me so far? Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so he says, he says here in the text, watch this. He says, verse one, he says, for the husband is the head of the wife. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, Amen. the Greek word, caliphate, caliphate, is a word for head. Really means somebody who in charge. Amen. Amen. A lot of ladies don't like that. But that's a good spot to be in. Amen. Can I tell you why? Yeah. First of all, he said, your husband is your head. Amen. Like Christ oh, yeah. is the head Amen. of the church. Mm -hmm. Now, I have seen where there have been re role reversal. Amen. Y'all talking to me again? Amen. Role reversal. Anybody know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about role reversal? Uh -huh. Amen. 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 I mean, where you wear the skirt. <laughs> and she got the top of the utility pack climbing the ladder through the roofs. <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. Don't look at the front, because y'all don't Amen. <laughs> Christ is elevating the church and a relationship of marriage to a place where we can actually see the grace of God. Amen, Rip. What's this? How does submission signify to us the grace of God. Can I tell you real quick? Amen. Christ is something to God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Jesus said the Holy Spirit ain't going to talk about himself, but whatever I tell him, that's what he talks. So the Holy Spirit is subjected to Jesus and Jesus is subjected to God. Yeah. And we are subjected to the whole to the body of Christ. Amen, man. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes, sir. So he's bringing this to our chapter 1, verse 22 of Ephesians said, and, and I put all things on his feet and gave him to be the head over all things, mm -hmm. even to the church. Yeah. Caliphate. Yeah. Meaning he put somebody in charge of the church. Amen. Mm -hmm. And ladies, that take a lot of load off of you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Y'all wouldn't be funny. Amen. I'm going to let a lot of ladies that's not married. You got a load. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. You got to be mom and facilitator. You got to get everything, bills paid and house notes. You got to work the job and. And what, what, I'm, what I'm saying about you is that there's so much responsibility on you trying to be the head and the woman. Yeah. All right, Rip. I know that I said you were being the man and the woman. Amen. You said it right. But you can't be both. Amen. God didn't design you to have both. Amen. Amen, Rip. So you can either be the head and the woman, because you can't be the man and the right, woman. Amen. How many of you heard people say, I'm the man and the woman. I can be the man and you can't be no woman. Amen. Amen. In Hebrew, the, 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 the word for woman is Isha, because she's soft. The, in Hebrew, the word for man is Ash, and because he's strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen, man. Amen. Now, God ain't built you to be like me. Amen. Amen. Bicep, shoulder, beard, mustache. Amen. I wish I had some bald head. Thank you, Lord. Amen, man. <laughs> Amen. Amen, man. How many of y'all are glad what God did with a bone? Amen. 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 How do my bone slash your mind? Slash! Yeah, yeah. 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 So happy God know what to do with bone. Amen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Look at my eyes. They're real. 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 Amen. Amen, man. Yes, sir. That's what he did yeah. with a good name. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. She ain't nobody else woman. She got. Yo, amen, He ain't nobody else husband. He up. Yeah. And I don't care what she said. What you want with my my husband? I wish I had some good days here. <laughs> you want to go to the husband without going to the wife? What you want with my husband? She got every right because she has her husband. Yeah. <laughs> They have ownership of Listen, that's why you talking about uh, uh, be subject unto your own. Uh -huh. That would pertain to you. Yeah. You be subject to your own. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. And why you be subject, you let some other women know. Yeah, that's my husband. All right, now. <laughs> that's my issue. Now, you can talk to him, but he going home. All right. <laughs> we can conversate, but he going home. Amen. Amen. Huh? <laughs> if he tell forward verse 15 says, but speak the truth of love may grow up into him and all that which is the head, even Christ. So here's the point. The married couple is a unity. Amen, man. Somebody always said the married couple, married couple is a unity. Is a unity. Now get this. It can have, it can only have one head. Amen. Amen. Amen, man. Amen. Are y'all with me here? Amen. So look, 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 look at your married couple and tell you, a married couple, a married couple can only have, can only have one, head. one head. Now, you might be the head, but she the neck. All right. Amen. <laughs> you see that head move? Yeah. <laughs> we are the neck. You might be the head, but she part of the body, so she ain't part of the head, but no stop him about the neck, so she might be part of the neck. And the head cannot move. But without the neck. That's why you don't want to dominate your neck. church, 
or in the marriage produces what is called duality. Can I give you another word to help you with that? Amen. It's called a monstrosity. Mm -hmm. All right, Bruce. All right. First time I saw some of two here that wanted God himself. <laughs> and it didn't look right. Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 It's a monstrosity. Uh -huh. If you notice that every human being that God has designed, oh, that has one head. If you're a female, you're born with one head. If you're a man, you're born with one head. And if you got two, you look funny. Amen. <laughs> Amen, man. And I got you like a monster. Amen, man. <laughs> Some marriages have been made into something like somebody that's unwise. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 5 15 says, See that, see that, that you walk circumspectly, not as food, but as wise. Amen. So there's some marriages that are developed are taking wise strategies mm -hmm. in terms of having strong marriages. Yes. Then there are others who are taking wise steps Amen. to have strong marriages. Mm -hmm. Then there are some marriages who make the mistake of uh, folly for wisdom. Romans chapter 1, verse 20, professing themselves to be wise, they became food. So sometimes you can thank yourself to be smarter than you think you are, and you really don't know nothing. Amen, man. What does it produce? It produces wrecks everywhere. Because you think you know, and you don't know. All right, man. Because you think you know, you're going to tell somebody else. You don't know, but you're going to tell somebody else what you don't know. Because you believe this to be what you think it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. What you're going to end up with is a wreck. Can I tell you what else you're going to end up with? You're going to end up with a freak. Amen. Let me put it in the right perspective because I don't mean that kind of free. I'm talking about you going to end up on oddity. Because you're practicing something you don't know what you're practicing. All right, man. And that don't look like it's the real thing. It looks strange. Yeah. It looks weird. Mm -hmm. It looks like a freak. Yeah. Amen. Two other things I want to show you that when you, when, you, when you don't use wisdom in this is that you end up with division. Because if you don't have the right concept, somebody, uh, probably both parties, going in opposite directions. Because mm -hmm. you got the wrong concept. First of all, you try to dominate and rather allow her to subject. Mm -hmm. And her subjection has to be voluntary. Watch this. The other thing that's going to cause is the wrong head. Because mm -hmm. you're thinking unwise. Mm -hmm. Not a role reversed. Instead of man being the head, she the head. Well, how he could be that if he would just... He got all the equipment to be the man. Even if he don't have the knowledge, he still got all the equipment. Amen, man. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm trying to keep it safe while well, we got children in the room. You get what I'm saying? Amen, man. But my point is, is that if you don't get it right, you're going to end up with the wrong head in town. Amen. And sometimes we think with the wrong God head. Amen, man. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen, man. Amen, And sometimes we don't even use our head. Amen, man. Amen. 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 Ooh, amen. Again. <laughs> Ladies, it's so free. I'm just dropping because I'm all done. We're dropping for Listen, y'all remember what happened when God made her? Uh -huh. Where was man at? Sleep. Sleep. He was sleep. Can I tell you that probably even present day some men are still sleep. sleep. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah. So your role as a husband, the reason why Eve ended up taking child is because Adam was asleep. Uh -huh. Not that he was actually physically asleep, but he wasn't aware that this conversation was going on in, in Eden with Eve. Uh -huh. And if he had been aware of it, he could have probably stopped it. Amen. Let me tell you what happened. The wrong head got in charge. You know why, how it happened, Sister Glenn? It happened because Eve stopped listening to Adam. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The only other man she never seen in the God is a snake. And he was he wasn't really a human being made like her. He just had a male voice. Mm -hmm. And she started paying attention to some boys, other than the man she was married to more. Amen, right. Amen. All right. 
So role reversals can change. Mm -hmm. You ever wonder why she fell in love with you? And then all of a sudden fall out of love with you? How did that happen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You fell in love with him to the end when you first saw him. Uh -huh. And wish you had him up. Not to be the man. And spit out the bone. I thought that joker was going to do right there. You end up kicking him to the curb and kicking him out the door and he got to go. The rules have reversed. Rules have reversed. All right, man. So now you're in, you're, you're in a conundrum. Mm -hmm. If you're not married, you're not on the head. That means if you're not saved, he can't come here to sanctify you if he is, and he can't sanctify your children if they're not. Amen, man. Right. So basically, in essence, you're outside of the will of God. Amen. Right. Right. Everybody with me so far? Amen, man. Right. Let me wrap this up then. All right. Because I'm going to do one deal. Just these two, three verses. Listen to this. Our divine God goes beyond what any wife or husband. Mm -hmm. Or it, what any wife can have in her husband mm -hmm. as related to a marriage opinion. Mm -hmm. He said, Why su be subject to your husband mm -hmm. as the church is subject to Christ? Amen. Mm -hmm. I don't care who you are, what female you are, how good you are, and whatever is your good, mm -hmm. you can never be to your husband what Christ can make you. To your husband. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. You can't. You can't do it alone. You need God to lead you to do that. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Why you might have the best intentions. Mm -hmm. Listen, only Christ alone is a true head. Amen. Mm -hmm. And coming under him helps us to understand leadership mm -hmm. and fellowship. Amen, Rick. Amen. Amen. Now, a couple of things, no doubt. The headship of the Christian husband is like the headship of Christ as regards to church. Paul reversed the statement. As the church subjects himself, herself to Christ, so also the wife to the husband in everything. Amen. <coughs> you should be willing to subject and submit yourself to your husband in every area. Amen. In every area. Yeah. You don't, you can't recall one time when the church has ever refused to do anything Christ has asked or commanded them to do. Church has never rebelled against Christ. Church has never told Christ no. Church has never been obstinate with Christ. Church has never been stolen with. I'm not talking about hell raiders intern. I'm talking about the real church. All right. All right. Amen, hey, man. Man. Mm. They don't give Christ no problem. Mm. And if your marriage is going to be sound, why you have got to get to this place? Amen. Where you submit to your husband mm -hmm. like the church submits to Christ. Amen. In everything. The church has no direction if Christ doesn't give it. The church has no life if Christ doesn't give it to it. Amen. The, Christ has, the church has no purpose if Christ doesn't give it to it. Amen. And the church won't have a purpose if it won't follow what Christ said. Amen. 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 If it does not do what Christ instructs. Mm -hmm. Your marriage ought to be so that you ought to know just before he even asks you what your responsibilities are. Amen, Rip. What your duties are, what your role is, before you mash you. Amen. And if you're not there, you're working on getting in tune with your significant other person. Y'all yeah. talk to me when you say that. Amen, Rip. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. I'm done. As the church subjects herself to Christ, so also the wives to their husbands and everything. The church, the church subjection is also voluntary. Amen. Church does, Christ doesn't force the church. Amen. It does it willingly. Uh -huh. Amen. 
It does it willingly. But there's a reason why it does it willingly. All right. The woman's objection to her husband is voluntary because of her subjection to her God. Amen. Then she fulfills two things. Verse 10 and verse 17 in, first, in, in, in Ephesians chapter 5 where it talk, talks about her being subject in everything. So her voluntary submission, her subjection to her husband is a voluntary act. But it is done with this intent that as I voluntarily give it to God, I will voluntarily give it to him. Amen. So she treats him as an equivalent of who God is. Amen. Now, I'm not saying that he's God. Amen. I'm just saying you treat him with the same reverence, with the same respect that you would have for a sovereign Amen. God. Amen. Somebody looked at me funny. Well, you can't look at me funny because Sarah hmm. okay. called Abraham Lord. Amen. Can I tell you what that means in the Hebrew? Mm -hmm. That means someone who is supreme in authority. Amen. That means someone who is the controller. Yeah. Well, if, if if Abraham her Lord, what she said is, uh, Lord, what are we going to eat today? All right. Lord, what are we going to live today? Lord, who's going to pay the... She ain't got to ask them questions. <laughs> who's going to pay the light bills? Who's going to pay the water bills? Who's going to pay the rent? Who's going to pay the house loan? Uh, who's going to buy grocery? He ain't got, she ain't got to ask him that because she said, Lord, she basically said, you got to ask her. Amen. 
Whenever something happens, she has to stand up and be the A&R. Yeah. <laughs> you know, any way, way you should have to go there. Well, listen, I don't think it's right. If you try to explain something, you try to defend something. In other words, get back out of the way and let your A&R go in there. Listen, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Mama came here, bought this, didn't like it, uh, and she wanted to retire and no questions asked. Hey Amen, man. All right. Hey man. And get your goon day out of line of fire. Hey Amen. Let him be the I remember one occasion somebody visited my house and was talk wanted to talk to my wife, you know, because we had, you know, that mm -hmm. when we tore down the garage and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Wanted me and my wife come out there, mm -hmm. pick it up and move it. Call the police. <laughs> Poli call the police. You know, the folk came to my house. Mm -hmm. And I looked at my wife and comes and said, so I wonder, I said, who are you talking? So I looked at the door, she was wall. And uh, I told her, I said, I, I, here's what I did. I said, come in there, baby. So I pulled her back from the door. Mm -hmm. And I said, ma'am, I don't know who you are, but I've been living here all 20 years. I don't even know your name if you live in that house up there. And then I, after I got her out the door, I proceeded to slam it. <laughs> All right. You gonna come to my house on my property, on my front porch, and wrap up my good name? The devil! Yeah, well, right. <laughs> All right. Mm. Mm. I told her to come and listen. She told me, well, they can call her. Listen, they can call who they want to. I stay here. <laughs> Police showed up. Mm -hmm. Little Harrison, some of them were there. Now, that's been a track down for them for the last 20 years since I've been here. Mm -hmm. Already called the city of Birmingham for them to come and get it. Mm -hmm. And uh, first thing tomorrow morning, they'll be out here to get it. Mm -hmm. Well, Harry, we, we appreciate everything. And they now. Mm -hmm. I said, man, I'm over 50 years old. And my wife is at my age. You ain't no way that we finna go out there and take that down. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't know what she's been drinking or smoking, but I don't want none of it. <laughs> like, we've already caught that city from him already. They only let him be up tomorrow. So he walked away. I'm saying that to say this. You have to be your wife's first line Amen. of defense. Finally, ladies who are married, you have someone in your life that is your shield. Your buckler and your shield on earth. You got a buckler and shield up there. But God gave you one down here. Thank you, Lord. And let him be your first line of defense. Amen. I'm done. Do the church door. Yeah. I want to send my Christian experience in my life. Thank you, Lord. Brother Society, you get a chance to cover everything. But I did cover the most important parts of all. No one is that the Bible speaks specifically about wives and husbands' roles. It speaks specifically about what the roles and the duties of the husband and wives are. So far, all we've covered uh, is that of uh, the wife. Amen. Amen. We talked about uh, God being the one uh, who is over all of us. So God gives us structure. Mm -hmm. And before he can start talking to us about our marriage relationship, he has to start giving us structure first. Mm -hmm. In other words, you need ground rules. Mm -hmm. Need something laid out so that you'll have some ground rules. Listen, your your marriage success is not based solely on you. All right. Amen. Amen. If you Amen. put it in the right context, it's really on the shoulders of you and God. All right. Amen. 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 And I've never seen God fail at anything. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. I know some people who've had 50 year marriages because they did it God's way. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 They not only have up days, have some bad days. Yes. Mm -hmm. But they uh, overall did it God's way. Amen. 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 And God will bless that. Amen. Amen. God really? blesses and honors marriage. Amen. Marriage and honor and all in the dead is undefiled. So God honors and respects those who enter into the marriage relationship. If they're here, will you come? Oh, thank you, Lord. But what about children that Christian children that are here, will you come? I hope that has been educational. Next week we'll talk a little bit about the husband.
Amen. 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 We'll cover uh, probably verses 25 uh, through verse 30. I hope you cut that off. 